tomorrow because you will having we are going to have a lot of knowledge once you are going to read the books now children here in this picture you can see that the most of the students are enjoying uh, reading the book like here my books are there now here the children are very happy and they are imagining so so many things after reading the book here you can see that teacher is uh, taking some of the topic story and students are listening very carefully so ultimately what we can understand from all this picture that the books are to so to spend time for fun okay even for a fun for enjoyment we can read the book Now today's poem is also based on in the spirit uh, in the particular uh, say in the topic like my book. Now the poet has explained everything whatever he feels about the book. Let's see what the poet exactly wanted to tell us. I love my books. They are the homes of queens and fairies and knights. Notes. Time I read, I make a on some quiet person, large or small. who welcomes me with a hearty hand and lead me throughout the wonderland each book is like a city street along whose wind way i meet new friends old who laugh and sing and take me off adventuring okay now at the end of the poem you can see it is written anonymous what is written over here children anonymous why it is written Generally, what happened whenever you read any poem or the any story, it is written that uh, who has write this story, who is the writer of this story, or who is a poet of this poem. Okay, like the your poem Rain in the Night poem of it was Amelia Josephine Burr. Then you have this poem of Why English is So Hard is written by Rudyard Kipling. Okay, next on serving sorry, it was written by Rudyard Kipling. So the name of poem is always mentioned at the end of the poem. Here at the end of the poem, you can see it is written anonymous. Now, who is anonymous? Anonymous when we don't know that who has written this poem. That time and it is written anonymous. That means we are not aware about poet. Okay? हमें poet का नाम नहीं पता है तो उसकी जगह में हम क्या लिखते हैं anonymous. Understand? Children, let's move towards the very first stanza and understand. what the poet wanted to tell us i love my books they are homes of queens and fairies and knights and gnomes the children you can see here written that knights okay now the k is silent over here now you are not going to pronounce the k it is just pronounced as knights they are pronounced as gnomes g is silent so you are not going to pronounce the g you are just going to pronounce the gnomes okay so this is the what which are involved some of the letters so uh, never uh, just pronounce this word k like the knight not gnomes it's a knights and gnomes okay let's who is knights and who is gnomes what is mean by these all two words the poet wanted to tell us that i love my books they are the homes of queens and fairies and knights and gnomes now the poet is telling us that whenever i read the book i feel like these books are not just a books they are the homes homes of queens and fairies now why the poet is telling us that it feels like it's a home of queens and fairies children because this book involves some of the stories poem or the concept related to the queens and fairies and other than this and knights and gnomes now knights means what knights knights means a soldiers in a ancient time soldiers were the some of the types so the type of soldier who used to take the horse to ride and um, win the battle this kind of brave soldiers are known as knights here in this picture you can see that a small soldier a beautiful pretty soldier you can see here so it's known as knights these soldiers uh used horse to ride and uh, win the battle now gnomes gnomes are the imaginary character tiny imaginary character having a twin like cap okay so this known as gnomes so the children poet wanted to tell us that my books are not just a books they are the homes of queens and fairies and knights and gnomes Uh, why the poet is uh, comparing the book as a home 
because these books involve the books the most it is chances that the poet is reading the book of stories and the stories having a some of the characters of queens and fairies and knights and gnomes now the next is that concern for the next is each time i did i make a call one some quaint person let or small who welcomes me with a hearty hand and leads me through his wonderland now each time i read the poet is telling us that whenever i read the book the book which i having in my library or in my study table whenever i read these books i make a call that means make a call means what calling someone okay whenever you want to talk someone what do you do you take out your mobile and you call okay when your mother want something from you what she do she make a call that means she ask you to come okay so the poet wanted to tell that each time when i read the book i call somebody to whom some quaint person large or small some quaint person now children what is mean by this word quaint okay now the quaint means asian okay what is mean by the quaint quaint meant asian asian that means a very old old fashioned somebody okay now the quaint person large or small what the poet wanted to tell us quaint quaint means old asian old fashioned person okay large or small okay large or small here you can see that the dragon is large okay dragon is also imaginary character so our story involves some of the imaginary character each time i read i make a call on some quaint person large or small who welcomes me with a hearty hand now what this quaint persons do quaint persons welcome right poet to his wonderland okay now how this person a welcoming to the poet they are welcoming with a hearty hand now children what is mean by this word hearty hand okay so you go to your relatives place okay to somebody like a friend's birthday or when you meet your friend after long time what you do you just open your arms and sometimes even you hug each other okay and you feel very happy so the poet is telling us that whenever i read the book i feel i make a call to somebody and the quaint person large or small is coming and they are welcoming with me in a hearty hand and lead me through this wonderland what this poet what this quaint persons are doing with the poet they are welcoming with a very love in their eye in their heart and they are just welcoming him and leads me through his wonderland and what they are doing as the relatives take you to inside their home and they show you that this is my room this is my terrace this is my this and this in the same way these quaint persons are taking right uh, put to this wonderland wonderland is something of imaginary and the different land where the things happen beyond the reality like a chocolate tree and then a snowfall and then something very different like see that in the city you can see a king queen doll is walking that the toys are talking with each other animals are talking like a human being so this is a something wonderland okay as you watch some of the movies of disney so these are also showing some of the things which are not uh, there in the present but they are the imagined one so it's a wonderland so once again i'm going to repeat this stanza each time i read i make a call on some quaint person large or small who welcomes me with a hearty hand and leads me through his wonderland okay now the call small these are i was call small hand land these are the rhyming words in the poem so whenever you read the poem the poet involves some of the rhyming words so just look at very carefully and try to underline in your textbook okay now the last is out like a city street 
along whose winding way I meet. Winding way means for children now see her in this. You can see that the zigzag road, right? That the, this way zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. That is having a lot of turn in this road. So the poet is telling us like each book. Abu is the history. In the first stanza, poet has compared book with the homes of queens and fairy. And now in the third stanza, the poet is comparing book with the city street. Okay, city street means what, children? Street road. Street. Oh, that Badlapur is one of the city. In this way, that the city having a different different roads, right? So many roads are there in the city as compared to. So the poet is telling us each book I is like a street along whose winding way I meet. Winding way means what? At each turn, okay. Each turn of road I meet to whom? With a new friend and old who laugh and sing. I meet old friend. Now the old friends are maybe the characters in the story or characters in the poem. Okay. So the poet is telling that each book uh, is like a city street along whose winding way I meet new friend and all who laugh and sing. What these friends do? They laugh and sing as in the speech that the children are laughing and take me of adventuring. Adventuring means what? Doing something beyond uh, something very different. Okay, when you go to the hill station, when you go to the track, uh, uh, tracking, so it's known for adventure, knowing something new. Okay, uh, visiting some places for a new thing. Okay, this is a taking experience, is known as adventure. Okay, once again, I will read this to all. I think this poem explanation is done over here. I love my books. They are homes of queens and fairy and knights and gnomes. Each time I read, I make a call on some fine person, large or small, who welcomes me with a hearty hand and leads me through his wonderland. Each book is like a city street along whose winding way I meet new person, new friend and old who laugh and sing and take me off adventuring. Okay. Now here street meet, sing. Okay. Now the street meet is rhyming word over here. Adventuring and sing is in rhyming word. Okay, student. So if at the end, I would like to tell you that the story is about the books, how books play a very important role and even in this time when we are not allowed to go, we can do, we can read the books, we can take a lot of knowledge and even we can um, read these books for the fun also. Okay, not the knowledge purpose or uh, know the meaning in the dictionary. Also, if you are going to read the story book, poem, then surely it will help you to spend your day in a better way and know the characters. One place only you will be able to imagine a lot of things. Okay, just like a watching movie. Okay, so student, this poem is clear to all. Show me the thumbs up. Yes, okay. 